Hello everyone and welcome back to Filmwave. In today's video, we will be listing 10 times Dr. Phil got schooled by his guests. Also, don't forget that we will be giving away an Amazon gift card. We do these giveaways every single month, so make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let's get right into it. At number 10, we have Tanya. At the age of 29, Tanya gave her cell phone number to one of her 17-year-old students. She scheduled a date and little did she know that the young man had recorded video evidence of the encounter and sent it to his classmates. Viewers were then shocked, not only by this educator's actions, but her defense of them as well. She was also very disrespectful and was always trying to get Dr. Phil back in his argument, but he fails miserably. At number 9 we have Danielle. Danielle smiled as she bragged about stealing her mom's credit card and car. She had no remorse for the anguish she was causing her family. She also threatened to fight both Dr. Phil and the audience. Although, no one was impressed with her tough front though. She did roast Dr. Phil and she did want a physical fight, so that was the reason she's on her number 9 spot. At number 8 we have Carla Perry. After a separation from her husband, Carla fell victim to a horrible online scam. Phil confirmed to Carla and her concerned daughters that this relationship was in no way real. Despite this, Carla maintained her story throughout to the end of her interview. She also tried to land some verbal punches towards Dr. Phil, but she ended up getting schooled by Dr. Phil instead. At number 7 we have Peyton and David. David was in prison after planning to bomb an abortion clinic. After his release, he found that his daughter Peyton had given birth to her first child. According to David, his veracial grandson can't be his family. He disowned his lovely daughter Peyton, leaving her feeling abandoned. He was such a horrible person and it's no surprise that he brought that same energy towards Dr. Phil and the show. At number 6 we have Little Mackenzie. During her interview with Dr. Phil, Mackenzie's mother describes horrific behavior at home. Mackenzie had thrown scissors at her teacher, attacked her bus monitor, and called her mother some really rough names. Mackenzie had been given several different diagnoses, but her mother was still struggling to control her dangerous behavior. She also was a little out of control during the interview as well, but since she's just a kid, that's not really anything that's different than to be expected. Nothing bad really happened, but not yet according to our knowledge. At number 5 we have Patricia. Patricia told her friends and family that she was dying from stage 3 brain cancer and that's not the only lie she told about her health. Patricia says that she's had more than a dozen strokes and she even took money from fundraising events for her alleged medical expenses. There is no evidence at all that suggests that Patricia was ever sick. Dr. Phil painstakingly reviewed her medical records with her to prove that she wasn't dying. She was literally mocking Dr. Phil's intelligence, but as we all know, she got roasted by Dr. Phil. At number 4 we have Aneska. On the show, Aneska herself appeared calm as Dr. Phil discussed her life with her. Her expression barely changed as she described finding a nest full of baby birds and crushing each one of them to death. That wasn't the first time little Aneska had killed an animal in cold blood either. She also beat the family hamster to death with a heavy metal flashlight. This is more than a roast towards Dr. Phil. She is clearly a dangerous threat. At number 3 we have Burke Ramsey. Burke was the only member of his family to never address his sister's murder to the public. He awkwardly smiled while he decided to describe the events surrounding his sister's death. Many found this strange and speculated as to why he would act the way that he did. Dr. Phil even addressed this to the audience. His analysis of the situation was that Burke was simply extremely nervous. This left Dr. Phil speechless and he felt very guilty during some parts of the interview. At number 2 we have Mama June. Allegations were made that June had allowed her youngest daughter Elena, also known as Honey Boo Boo, to sleep in bed with a sexual predator during a trip to North Carolina. If that wasn't awful enough, Mama June also took her betrayal of Anna to another level as she allegedly drained her trust fund too. She also tried to fire back at Dr. Phil during the interview, but instead she ended up just getting embarrassed. At number 1 we have Zachary Davis. When he was only 15 years old, Zachary bludgeoned his mother to death with a sledgehammer. The young man's mental health was obviously unwell during his interview on the show. The interview disturbed viewers and gave them a rare glimpse into the personality of a cold-blooded killer. Zachary spoke to Dr. Phil in a flat, monotone whisper. Zachary was threatening Dr. Phil and he was also mocking him in several different ways. 
Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.